Daniel, it has been a busy week, mm -hmm. let me tell you what. I have been all around this town finding some really interesting stuff. And our first story is about one local artist. What may be trash to you is actually treasures to one Whiteville man who uses those to create some pretty unique artwork. Mark Bannerman has always had a passion for fine art, and he explains how Whiteville's culture has influenced his work. I have this passion to create uh, whatever it might be. Art has always been a way of life for Mark Bannerman. I can go from anything from glitter to broken mirror to, to candy wrappers. But his vision is all about thinking and doing outside of the box. I am a garbage collector, you might say. What might be trash to you is what Bannerman sees as treasure. It's like a Where's Waldo. I want my viewers to come up and really see what's embedded in the art. Bannerman says his artistic eye came from his father. He was always interested in art, and I always admired the way, especially how he drew Mickey Mouse. Growing up in the Hoosier State, Bannerman's love for art led him to Indiana University for graphic design. In 1983, he won a design competition to create a new football helmet for the college. And it went from the helmet design to designing the uniforms to the football field, to murals on the side of the stadium. And it was fun working with, with Sam Weich in, in creating this. But after spending most of his life in the Midwest, fate brought him to Columbus County. My grandfather cleared the land, built the house, and built this pack house. I couldn't see it go. Bannerman said you couldn't put a price tag on the property. We said, well, we'll give up our jobs and come down to Whiteville. Some say tobacco and tobacco farmers put North Carolina on the map and Whiteville was an important part of that. Bannerman quickly learned how true that was while teaching art education at Whiteville High School. I'll never forget when I first started teaching, we had to wait to get for kids to get off the fields from cropping backer. So, uh, it was, it was, it was interesting. And it was the Whiteville roots that guided Bannerman to create his unique art. It started with a, a painting I did with a tobacco warehouse scene, and I ended up putting burlap on there. And all of a sudden there's a realization that you have taken this a step further, that gluing something on a two-dimensional surface takes something a step further. He told his students to be creative and to be original. I want you to, to notice things that you've never noticed in the world before. I want you to look at the world in a different manner. At first glance, you may not notice what really makes up his artwork. Bobby pen is right in there, and here's the paper clip. I mean, uh, there's a gum wrapper. Now recently retired, he's spending every day drawing, oh, painting, and doing heavy collage art. To observe art, they say, you know, you need to step back and look at the art. And that is true, and I want my viewers to do that. But I also want them to be intrigued enough to come up and look within it and say, oh my gosh, there's a, a hair clip there, there's a, a broken a comb, or, or there's a beer tab. While living in Whiteville, Bannerman says he hopes others will take a closer look to see what really makes up this small town. I'm living a dream right now. I am. Now the Bannerman family truly lives art because Mark was an art teacher at Whiteville High School and then when he retired his son actually took his position and also his wife is an art teacher at a nearby middle school and their daughter is a dancer. So their whole family mm -hmm. kind of just lives in art some form or another. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, creativity definitely runs uh, strong in the family. Yes, pretty unique story.